Welcome to our devotional reflection for Wednesday, December the 14th, 2022. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This is coming to you from my office there. Today's reflection, today's devotional idea from Oswald Chambers, My Utmost for His Highest, is entitled The Great Life. In John chapter 14, verse 27, we hear the words of Jesus. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Whenever a thing becomes difficult in personal experience, we are in danger of blaming God but it is we who are in the wrong, not God. There is some perversity somewhere that we will not let go. Immediately we do, everything becomes as clear as daylight. As long as we try to serve two ends, ourselves and God, there is perplexity. The attitude must be one of complete reliance on God. When once we get there, there is nothing easier than living the saintly life. Difficulty comes in when we want to usurp the authority of the Holy Spirit for our own ends. Whenever you obey God, his seal is always that of peace. The witness of an unfathomable peace I'll try that again. The witness of an unfathomable peace, which is not natural, but the peace of Jesus. Whenever peace does not come, tarry, wait till it does, or find out the reason why it does not. If you are acting on an impulse or from a sense of the heroic, the peace of Jesus will not witness. There is no simplicity or confidence in God because the spirit of simplicity is born of the Holy Spirit, not of your decisions. Every decision brings a reaction of simplicity. My questions come whenever I cease to obey. When I have obeyed God, the problems never come between me and God. They come as probes to keep the mind awake and amazed at the revelation of God. Any problem that comes between God and myself springs out of disobedience. Any problem, and there are many, that is alongside me while I obey God increases my ecstatic delight because I know that my Father knows and I am going to watch and see how he unravels this thing. Father God, Teach us to be joyous in the troubles that come alongside us as we watch you deal with the world in truth and righteousness and power and effectiveness. Show us, Lord, where it is us, our problems, our rebellion, our sin that comes between us and you and robs us of the peace that passes all understanding. Help us constantly seek to be in the peace of Jesus Christ and therefore have the relationship with you as it should be in all things. The the very definition of the word shalom, all things being as they should be between God and us and between us and others. May you be praised for giving us this shalom. In Jesus' name we pray to your glory. Amen. Well, friends, I thank you for spending a few minutes listening to the ideas that Oswald Chambers puts forward in his devotionals. And now you know why I want to bid you the same blessing every time we close for the day and until we are together again, because it's the greatest blessing that Scripture offers. It's the greatest blessing that is possible, the possibility of you and God and all being at peace with one another. And so, in the name of Christ, I bid you, till tomorrow, shalom.